so I recently seen the Maleficent movie and it was amazing so I thought it'd be super fun to do an inspired look for Aurora so that is what you guys are gonna see now and we are just going to jump right in so the first thing I'm gonna do is do a base coat of foundation because she has perfectly flawless skin so we're gonna start to achieve that by putting foundation all over her face And then taking a concealer and just covering up any dark circles or red spots or blemishes or anything that we might have for that day. And then I'm just going to set everything but with a pressed powder. Next thing I'm using is this little shadow palette from Avon and I'm using a light beige color in the corner of my eye and I'm using a taupey color with a shimmer in it, just a tiny bit of shimmer and putting it all over my eyelid and then I'm just taking the darkest shade and blending that into my crease and a little bit on the outer corner. She has like super natural look in the movie so that's kind of what we're going for here and then I'm just taking a dark brown eyeliner pencil and lining my waterline and then just taking a little bit of that darker shade and putting it on my lower lash line. And then finishing off the eyes with a little bit of mascara. Next we're going to move on to eyebrows. I'm just filling mine in because she has fairly dark eyebrows in the movie so I wanted to replicate that. And then just to achieve a little bit of innocence on the cheeks I'm dusting a little bit of pink, um, pink eyeshadow, pink blush. And then for the lips I'm just taking a pink um, lip crayon and putting that on the inside of my lips and just blending it out with my fingers. And then just to make it look a little bit more natural I'm going in with a nude lipstick right on top of that and again blending it out with my fingers. And that is the finished makeup look. So now we can move on to the hair, which is super cute. So we're going to do kind of like a waterfall braid, but it's not a braid. It's more of like a twist. So basically what you want to do is just take a top section of your hair and twist it. And then just kind of pull it back. And then take an underneath section and twist it. And pull it over the first section. And then we're just going to drop the first section all together. And then you just want to keep doing that until you get all the way to the back of your head. And then you can just pin it there with a bobby pin. And you just want to repeat that on the other side. So just grab a section, twist it, grab a section underneath, twist it, and bring it over the first section and drop the first section all together. And then just keep on doing that all the way to the back of your head and then pin it back with a bobby pin. And that's probably a little bit confusing, but just try to watch what I'm doing because basically whatever what you see there is what I'm doing. There's no extra anything. And then it's just me putting it back with a bobby pin. And then for a little bit of extra flair, I added a couple of flowers into my hair just by attaching them to some bobby pins and sticking them inside the twists. And that is the finished look, guys. I think it is super cute and it's actually super wearable. So you can definitely wear this with anything. With anything. You don't have to wear it with this funky dress that I found at a thrift store. And yeah, so that's a finished look, guys. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a big ol' thumbs up down there and leave it in the comments below if you saw Maleficent and if you liked it because I loved it. And be sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments below. Also, if you'd like to see me do a similar video for any other video characters, doesn't have to be a movie, it can be a book, or anything like that, just let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys soon. I will see you guys very soon with a brand new video. Bye! There's a fly on it. Oh. Get. Aw, oh, man.